Good morning, my friends, and welcome back. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and today I thought we would take a plain liquor bottle like this one and turn it into this. And I am using a technique called Pizzi Joffrey. Now, I am sorry if my Italian friends are saying that is not how you say that. <laughs> But this is how you do this and I am doing a beach theme on today's project because we have had so much snow over the past couple of days which has been beautiful but it's been very chilly, a little bleak and we'd like to go back to the beach. By the way, if any of you know the correct way to say that, let me know. Now the first thing I did was I took a roller and I covered this whole bottle in paint and at this point I am using acrylic paint because I am going to put chalk paint over this. It doesn't matter if you use chalk paint or acrylic paint for this step. I am going to suggest you use chalk paint for one of the steps coming up though. So first I just covered the whole bottle with paint and when I was all done I put this aside to dry. Now once this dried I took some white craft glue, Elmer's glue is what I'm using here, and a bristle brush, and I covered, I'm just going to work on one side at a time here, I covered this with the white craft glue. Now you want to work a little quickly here while this is still wet. By the way, I kept a cup of very hot water next to me so that I could put the brush in it. You don't want that brush to get ruined by the glue. Or you can put the brush in saran wrap and wrap it up so that it doesn't dry out. Now the thing that you want to do, you see how this is shiny on the surface? That's because that craft glue is still wet and I'm taking a pouncer brush and I'm going to pounce, now this is white chalk paint, I'm going to pounce it all over the wet glue. And while this is still wet, and this is why we're using chalk paint, I'm taking a blow dryer. Right now I'm doing this in real time. I'm not fast forwarding and I'm not doing a slow motion because I want you to see how the crackles are already coming up. And this isn't a heat gun, it's a plain old blow dryer on high heat and look how fast those cracks came up. Now the reason you want to use chalk paint is because a lot of times acrylic paint will bubble and I don't know the dry times of acrylic paint versus the craft glue. The chalk paint is already so dry that what happens is it is drying before the glue underneath which is causing it to make this crackle. So that's why we want to use chalk paint. And there we go, I just had it on high and that's the lovely effect that I got. And now I'll repeat this on the sides and the back of this bottle. I'm going to set this aside to dry completely when I'm done with it. I have a cup of hot water here, very hot water. I'm putting baking soda in there and a little bit of dishwashing liquid and what I'm going to do is put the brush in here and swish it around a lot. That will help get rid of the glue on there and keep your brush in decent shape. I'm trying not to go up over that silver part. That's where all the glue is and after time you could wear the glue down and your brush could fall apart. Once I'm all done I'm going to run this under some very hot water and then some cold water just to make sure the brush is all clean. And by the way, you see the brush looks really nice here. My hands, not so much. So I do the same thing for my hands. I use the baking soda and a mild liquid hand soap. You want to wait at least an hour before you move on to this step. And some people take a strip of pretty lace much smaller than this. I am going to cover the whole surface with this lace because I want the whole bottle to look lacy. So what I'm going to do is wrap, and this is very thin fine lace, I'm going to wrap it around the bottle. I'm going to cut this to size and then I'm going to decoupage this lace onto the bottle. So I took a bristle brush 
And this is Viva Decor's decoupage glue. It is not a napkin decoupage glue. It's their regular glue, but it is my absolute favorite. They make an outstanding decoupage glue. I will put it on my website. I think there is a fee for shipping on this one. But it's the perfect texture, this medium. It's not too thick, it's not too thin, and it lasts through everything. So I want to make sure I get in between all of those pieces of lace. You know how there's this pattern to the lace. You want to make sure using the bristle brush you get into all of those tiny holes and crevices and I'm going to cover the whole bottle using this decoupage glue. And when I come up to an area like this where I have a little bit of excess I'm simply going to cut out what I don't need and remove it and decoupage the exact amount down that I need. I'm not worrying too much about the neck of this because I'm going to be adding some shells up there later. So I'll just speed this up for you a little bit. And one thing that you have got to do with this particular project is this takes a long time to dry. So I did leave this overnight to dry and I put it near a heat vent since it's the winter time here the heat is on pretty often so this did dry overnight you don't want to take a chance and put it in the oven these laces are made of all different types of materials they can brown they can burn they can melt so just leave it overnight to dry here's how our bottle looks the next day it's a little hard to see the lace you can see the crackle and what we're going to do now is take a couple of different paints and these are actually metallic paints made also by V I'm sorry I don't get any payment from Viva Decor I just happen to think they make the most beautiful amazing products out there I'll have these on my website this is a, a it's metallic emerald green and the other is a metallic ice blue you can use any colors you would like I would just like to stick with an ocean theme. So what I'm doing is pouring a tiny, that's even way too much for what I need. I'm pouring a tiny bit of the paints into a bowl. And by the way, you really have to shake these bottles well. They're very much like nail polish. And now I'm taking a damp rag. Now this rag can go right in the trash or I can wash it. It's going to have these pretty colors on it. <laughs> but you want to make sure it's damp and apply some of these paints in different areas and the reason that I want this wet is because we don't want these paints to go on here and stay on here we're going to apply them and kind of rub them off and I'm going to do this with both of these colors and there's no particular order to this I'm just going to work them into the surface until I'm happy with the way they look You'll notice that I am wearing gloves because this paint can get stuck on your fingers and your nails. It's a lot harder to get off than the other paints we've been using. So here's how my bottle looks. You can see that the lace has popped out. It's not dry yet. And this is a heavier paint, so I'm going to put this aside to dry. And while all of that's drying, I'm going to take some of these shells and the Martha Stewart Glittering Glue. I don't even know if they make that anymore. I will have it on my website if they do. You can see mine is a little clumpy and thick. But the thing that I like about this is it does not have glitter in it. It's just got a good consistency that's pretty tacky right away so that it holds the glitter. And I'm using the extra coarse, the very coarse glitter from Martha. I will have it on my website if it's still available. And now what I'm going to do is on all of these shelves, I'm going to apply this coarse glitter. I'm going to take this E6000 glue. I know we're tempted to use a hot glue gun here, but this E6000 will hold forever. And what I'm going to do is put it in certain areas on the shell. Now what makes this a little awkward is that we're working on a curve here. The shells are kind of flat on the bottom, so I'm just going to build up a little bit of van excess here. 
So I'll just keep adding the glue until it's pretty thick. The other thing is this doesn't dry right away, so you would have to lay the bottle flat. And any place where I have a little bit of excess glue or glue showing, I'm going to add that coarse glitter over that, which will stick immediately, and it will just look like it's all part of the design. I also had a pretty starfish that I covered with the glitter using that same glitter glue, centered it on here, and by the way up at the top, you can't see it right now, but I also took a little silver church key that I had, I painted it with chalk paint and added the glue and the glitter all over it and stuck it up to the top, and I'm going to let this dry. And once it's all dry, I'll show you how it looks. Here's how the top of this looked too. So now it's the next day, everything is dry, and I'll move the camera around a little bit so that you can see that the glitter is showing up beautifully on there. I've got to put glitter on almost everything. You can see the lace. I'll go in a little bit closer so you can see the pattern a little bit more. But this is how our beach version of the Pizzi Joffrey looks. I've seen this on Pinterest as Pizzi Joffrey, Pizzo Joffrey. I'm not exactly sure. I know the word Pizzo or Pizzi actually means lace. So for us, I wanted to do this lighter version, this beach version. There's the key up at the top, by the way. And this has been our project for the week. My website link is just below if you want to head on over and purchase these supplies or just read about some of them. You can go on over to my blog post for today. Upcycle with Decoupage is also on Facebook. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And I'm sorry to keep beating this point home, but there's still this little glitch in the system with YouTube and some of us are losing subscribers accidentally, which is quite harmful to us. So uh, please don't forget to subscribe and I put new videos out every week. If you've got any questions, feel free to ask me. I love hearing from you guys and I love seeing you over on my Facebook page. So I will see you guys next week with another video. Thanks again, my friends. Stay warm out there. Bye-bye.